All done. Lovely. Now, now a player of AFC Wimbledon. Congratulations, mate. Yeah, thank you. On this, the Guinness Walker, you've achieved part of your dream. You've become a professional footballer with AFC Wimbledon. Just tell us about that. I mean, it's every young boy's dream, so to finally be able to come and join this club and be a part of it, it's, it's all I've ever dreamed of. So to, to be able to actually officially say I've done it and, and the club's welcomed me with open arms, it's, it's just a great feeling for me. Other clubs interested as well. Why was AFC Wimbledon the right choice for you? I think the way I was welcomed... Uh, the ethos of the club. I, I came and watched the game um, against Bristol Rovers, and I, just everything about the cl club. I just enjoyed it. The, the boys welcomed me. I just, it's a great club to be a part of, and I can't wait to get started. And in terms of yourself as well, I mean, it's a remarkable story. No agent, and mm. how you've, your own ambitions as well. How's it got you to this stage in your career? I've always been told that hard work, hard work will, will get you places. So I think if you work hard, you things come to you and. That's all I've been trying to do, just keep my head down, work hard, learn, and luckily it's paid off and still more hard work to come, but it's a good start. So give us some background into yourself. I mean, how was your journey into football, the clubs that you've been at previously? I've always, like every boy, I've always played football from a young age. I was, I was at Chelsea when I was eight or nine years old in the, in the young academy. Joined Sun when I got released from there, Sunday League, and just, like you said, just kept working hard in Sunday League. Another opportunity came at Tottenham for a year when I was 11 and um, didn't make the cut there but again went back into Sunday League, worked hard, never gave up and since then it's just been non-league Sunday League and like I said it's, it's paid off. So, And being a defender that's only happened recently, tell us about that. When I was younger I, was, I played as a left back but in my more recent years, the last three years I've played in the midfield role. But Again, my, my club wanted to adapt to me. They saw that left-back ability and put me there. And I guess people say I fit to the role. I've embraced it. I've, I've learned. I've matured since I was younger. And I, I feel like that's where I, I want to play. Yeah, tell us about your time at Metropolitan Police because they, they've really helped bring you along, haven't they? I can't say enough about Met Police. They've, the growth as a player, my development since I joined there. I joined when I was 17. Since I've come out, it was only two or three years that I've had there. But... As a man, as a footballer, they've just shaped me. The coaching staff is there as second to none, so yeah, I can't thank them enough. You've been down here, you've had a trial, you've met the first team. How did you find that? I was surprised. I thought I thought it would be a bit nerve-wracking coming in, like you said, from a semi-pro environment into a professional environment. Just the boys welcoming me with open arms. as such a tight family, even with the coaches. Wally was straight away. I had lunch with him on my first day. Just... Um, I said it's such a tight knit family, and you can see with the fans the relationship. It's just a, you can see it's one big family, and I just I'm so so happy that I can be a part of it. So once you got that feeling, you saw the the great escape that Wimbledon achieved. Yeah. Did that sort of propel your interest? Did that make you want to sort of be a part of this even more? Oh, definitely. Like it, like I said it it sums up the the mindset and and the ethos of this club. That is a never never die attitude and. It's something that, like you said, I've been working through the, the semi-pro. I feel like I have kind of can relate to that. As people said, I've, I've had my doubters, but I've had to, to push on, and I think that, that club is a, a replicant of it. So, yeah, I just can't wait to get started. How aware were you of this story of AFC Wimbledon? I'm a local boy. I only live in, down the road, and I was, used to play at Kingstonians when I was younger as well. So I think everyone who's a football fan knows about AFC Wimbledon and, and the story of it. So I've definitely definitely know about it. You've met our new Chief Executive Joe Palmer, what struck you about the ambitions of the club going forward? They said there's a never die attitude, the, the sky's the limit here and I think that's true, the talent in the squad and like you said you've got Wally Downs coming in, the, the experience there, I've, there is no limit of, of what can be achieved there, it's a great, great club. And you spoke about Wally Downs there, he's made you feel very welcome, what's he said he wants from you now going forward? I think he, he knows that I'm going to have mistakes, like I said I'm quite a of raw talent I've come from non-league but he just wants me to work hard to keep learning keep pushing like I say keep my head down keep work, working and then just develop even further and keep doing that Well Nesta Guinness walking our first summer signing thanks very much indeed Thank you